Duck boat tours operate in dozens of cities across the country and carry millions of passengers every year. The largest company is called Ride the Ducks. It was involved in last night's accident. It also operates in Boston, Mobile, Alabama, Stone Mountain Park, Georgia, and Seattle. The company says that in its 47 years, this was its first deadly accident. Here's Chris Van Cleve. The disaster in Branson may be the deadliest duck boat accident in U.S. history, but it was not the first to raise safety concerns. Nearly 20 years ago, the NTSB sounded the alarm after 13 people died when this duck boat sank in just seven minutes in Hot Springs, Arkansas. Investigators warned duck boats were not originally designed for passenger service and do not have adequate reserve buoyancy to remain afloat in the event of a breach. And the NTSB urged changes to the canopy because it can trap passengers in a sinking vehicle, a situation potentially made worse if they're wearing life vests. In 2010, when this duck boat, equipped with a canopy, was hit by a barge in Philadelphia, two tourists didn't make it out and drowned. They are death traps that should be banned. Lawyer Andrew Duffy represented victims of the Philadelphia accident in a multi-million dollar lawsuit. The canopy is, is pulling you down while the life preserver is pulling you up into the top of the canopy. And then somehow in dark, murky waters where you don't know the difference between up and down, you have to try to navigate your way out the side of this canopy. On the roads, duck boats have been involved in several deadly crashes, including in 2015 when this duck boat collided with a bus. Five people died. But in Washington today, duck boat tours were virtually sold out despite the tragedy. Did it make you rethink this at all today? It did actually make it, not rethink it, but we questioned it, but not, we weren't we, going to not do it. Yeah. Um, so, Chris, talk a little more about the safety record of these boats. Sure, Jeff. There are 118 certified for use by the Coast Guard in the U.S. The regulations, as far as who has oversight here on the water, it's typically the Coast Guard. On the land, it would generally be a different federal agency. States and cities can have their own regulations, and of course, those vary widely. But when you look at the safety record overall, it's generally good, but these things can weigh up to seven tons. So when things go bad, they go bad fast. Jeff? All right, Chris Van Cleve on the Potomac tonight. Chris, thanks.